Panajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. This is ESPN 106.3 WUUB Jupiter, a good karma brand's radio station. You call him Ant-Man, I call him Ant Jordan, but we all should be calling him the greatest show in sports. Live from the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios. The man, your man could smell it. Theo Dorsey is theoretically speaking. But are you a different animal and the same beast? What does that mean, Kobe Bryant? Streaming live on YouTube, here's Theo Dorsey. Look at us, look at us. We made it. Another Monday, a wild weekend of sports, a lot of fun, a lot of energy, and most importantly to us here at Theoretically Speaking, myself, Theo Dorsey, and CCAT, who's on the ones and twos, as we carry you till 6 p.m., we got to watch Anthony Edwards play basketball yet again. And boy, did he deliver. I don't know if you've been paying enough attention, right? Like these West Coast games, they tip off late. A lot of times they're ending by the time they are. You're probably asleep if you're out here on the East Coast. If you haven't been watching the Minnesota Timberwolves this NBA postseason, if you haven't been locked in on Anthony Edwards, the 22-year-old shooting guard for the Timberwolves who just helped lift the Timberwolves to that 126 to uh, what was the final score? 122, 116, game four victory over the Suns, taking a big fat broom and sweeping Kevin Durant, Bradley Bill, Devin Booker, and the Phoenix Suns right out of the first round of the playoffs, leaving them with questions about their head coach, leaving them with questions about the future of that franchise. That was supposed to be a super team, but a supernova came in and wiped them out, and he goes by the name of Anthony Edwards. Everybody right now is debating whether or not this guy, that cool cat with the rock, is maybe the next face of the league. What if he's the best player in the NBA? We're getting a lot of superlatives. There's a lot of hyperbole being thrown out there today, but I want to clear it all up. I want us to stop and smell the flowers as sports fans today. And as a guy that just loves how electrifying this guy is on and off the court, This is the way you summarize what Anthony Edwards is, not just to basketball, but to sports. Anthony Edwards and these Minnesota Timberwolves are the best show in sports. Point blank, period. The the theater that they provide and the level of play that they have risen to, especially in this postseason and really all throughout the years they came into the West, one of the most contentious Western conferences in the NBA and got the three seed against these Suns. And then what they did with it, sweeping away the Phoenix Suns in electrifying fashion. This is the greatest show in sports. And I think we need to stop trying to qualify it and just sit back and enjoy the show. And that show goes by Anthony Edwards. I want to take you to one play, one specific play from last night that happened. The Timberwolves were up by two points. Again, the Suns on the brink of elimination. Before the game, Bradley Bill is making comments talking about how he's never been swept before and he ain't trying to see what that feels like. Well, well you scored in, in single digits last night, so I'm not sure that helped very much. But let me take you back to the game action. About two and a half to go, Anthony Edwards and the Minnesota Timberwolves are up by two on the Suns. They get a steal from the kill Alexander Walker because, of course, it starts with defense when you're talking about the number one ranked defense in the league with these Timberwolves. And then on the other side of the court, up by two, Anthony Edwards has the ball on the left wing. He's being guarded by St. Louis's very own Bradley Bill, perennial all-star, a huge name in sports. I wouldn't say like a future Hall of Famer, but one of the more respected players in the game in Bradley Bill. And then there's Kevin Durant waiting for him at the rim. And, well, just take a listen to this from last night on TNT. Ten to shoot. Edwards. Oh, Edwards! A signature slam! Blew right by Bradley Bill. I'm talking like didn't even really make a move. Straight line drive past Bradley Bill and banged it on Kevin Durant. And that was the way that he lifted the Timberwolves over the Suns. 40 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, and the exclamation with that dunk right there. Swiping the very, the soul of Kevin Durant. Taking away all of the joy that he might still left have left in that melodramatic body in one big powerful dunk. And you know Anthony Edwards let him know about this. 
22 years old. Anthony Edwards is the greatest show in sports right now. And if you're on Netflix, you know, we all we got these streaming services. You got so many different things to watch these days. You're kicking it back with your lady. You're trying to find something that's going to keep you going. If there is a Minnesota Timberwolves game going on that night, block out your schedule and make sure that that's what you're locked in on because that's the biggest lesson I've gotten so far from the first round of these NBA playoffs. I mean, Anthony Edwards, Cat. I'm not sure. Did you watch any of the Timberwolves yet so far in the first round? I caught the first half of most of their games, not the second half. Too late for me. It's hard. It's hard to. And to be honest with you, I had to rewatch the fourth quarter of last night's because, well, I I had to get myself some sleep as well, right? Like, it's hard staying up for these Western Conference games. But what I'm telling you is Anthony Edwards and the Timberwolves, they make it worth it. You got a guy like Rudy Gobert out there. You got Carl Anthony Towns. You have a great set of perimeter defenders. I mean, everything about this team is fun, exciting, and it's winning culture. And on top of that, I, I do want to uh, just check on the health of their head coach, who apparently, I don't know if you saw this, he spilled on the on the sideline there on the side of the court, and he's rehabbing from an injury right now. That's the only blemish right now in the Timberwolves. You can't be running into your coach, Mike Conley, and getting him into trouble like that. But... <laughs> This Timberwolves team is nothing short of exciting. And then with Anthony Edwards being the, the, the head of the snake, with Anthony Edwards being the guy that really sets it over the top, and he has so many shades of the greats, right? Like there's some people that watch him like me, and you see Michael Jordan in him. There's some people that watch him, and you see the, the Kobe, especially the young Kobe Bryant with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, you see flashes of that. Like the dude has so much of a cool – like flavor about his game. It's not just about how he plays or how many points he puts up. It's the way he does it. And then also, it's the way he talks about it afterwards. And that's why everybody right now, CCAT, is saying he might be the quote-unquote face of the league. I, I will say this. You can't be the face of a league when you only have one playoff series victory to your name with Anthony Edwards. And yes, it was actually the first Timberwolves playoff series victory in 20 years. It's been two decades since the T-Wolves have made it out of the first round of the playoffs. And it took a 22-year-old averaging 30-plus points, him becoming the first player to be 22 years old or younger and average 30 or more points in a sweep since none other than Kobe Bean Bryant. So the things he's doing is already transcended. Take a listen to last night after the game, after the T-Wolves got the win, his, his big man, Carl Anthony Towns, who, who was supposed to be that foundational piece for the Timberwolves, was supposed to be the leader on this team, but it's quite clear that is Anthony Edwards. Carl Anthony Towns, looking at his guy, the 22-year-old who has the Timberwolves as one of the favorites now, a, a contender to actually win a championship this year. Listen to what he calls Anthony Edwards right now in the league. He the face of the league. I've been saying that. He hate when I say it, but it's true. Like I said, future's so bright, I got to put the sunglasses on most of the time when I'm walking around with him. Okay. <laughs> well, of course, Cat had to get a little corny with him, right? Like, <laughs> he can't help himself. He can't help himself at all. Like, it, it, much love to Carl Anthony Towns. He's starting to grow into himself. He's starting to kind of feel himself a little bit more, and that helps when you're on a winning team like this, and you can rely on a guy like Anthony Edwards. But I think that's exactly why there's so much magnetism to Anthony Edwards. Like, him sitting next to Carl Anthony Towns, I'm starting to think Cat's kind of cool. Like, it's rubbing off. Anthony Edwards, the effect that he has on that Minnesota Timberwolves franchise, the way that he has people going out wanting to buy jerseys, the way that he has me staying up late to watch Timberwolves games, what we're seeing right now is the best show in sports and we don't need to think of it any other way. We don't have to overthink this thing, Cat. There's a lot of great shows in sports, right? There's the Kansas City Chiefs, my favorite NFL team, when Mahomes has the ball in his hands. That's a lot of fun to watch. I mean, we got our, our Florida Panthers right there in Sunrise, Florida, who have been ripping it up on the ice in the Stanley Cup playoffs. That's a damn good show. But Anthony Edwards, I'm turning all of that stuff off if I have an opportunity to watch that guy, the six foot five shooting guard out of UGA, the guy that is literally taking leaps over people that he considers his GOAT. You know, like Kevin Durant was his favorite player. Absolutely. And he banged that thing down on him and sent him home packing and said he'll let him know about it this summer at Team USA. He was doing the DX chops at the free throw line. You know how much confidence, how much 
swagger you got to have to confidently do the DX chop in the year of 2024? And, and, and also, I didn't see anything from the league offices. He didn't even get in trouble for it. <laughs> He's the kind of guy that somebody else does that. If Draymond Green does that, right? Like if even if like 